Hi folks, and welcome to the latest update on Salterbeck. So first up, um, I created a set of supports for the stabling area canopy. Um, this was fairly straightforward. Um, I just kit bashed um, the Metcalf Engage canopy um, to produce the supports that I needed. Um, and then for the upper section, I just glued on some additional supports using um, leftover card in the kit and then finally use some leftover brass wire um, which I had to do the diagonal supports. Um, when that was all done I painted it in L and WR colours um, using acrylic paint as seems to have been the case um, back in the 80s for the for the area and that was that done. I then moved on to the background. Um, originally I had just a, a wall along the back, um, but in real life the area behind the stabling area is the rest of Workington Station and uh, I wanted to try and get a better representation of that on my layout. Um, after a bit of head scratching um, I decided on um, creating a mock-up of the, the far platform um, rather than using some sort of clever tricks with perspectives and layered prints and stuff like that. I just thought I'd, uh, I'd make it. Um, so this is just constructed from um, some old Graham Farish platform um, that I found when I was rummaging around in the loft. Um, lots with <laughs> lots of other bits and pieces from my old um, Magnum layout from the 1980s. Um, so I've taken the, the platform from that, that I found, um, glued that to some polystyrene foam, um, painted the sides of the platform so it looks like the, the platform and the stabling area, and then um, glued on the skill scenes platform onto the top of it as well. So onto that, I added the background wall, um, which I made by mocking up in Inkscape and printing out onto card and then cutting out the, the gaps and then glued on some skill scenes brick paper. Um, and then I then glued a, another piece of card, um, also with skill scenes brick paper on the back to give that sort of indented, indented wall um, impression. Um, Next to the wall, um, I added the, the station building that also sits on that platform um, using the same technique. Um, and then I added some um, posters and station signs and stuff like that that I had left over from um, another build. Um, these are LMS themed, um, but it seems to go along with the sort of L LNWR LMS colored signs that seem to be um, frequently used at Workington Station long after, um, long after you'd imagine they would be. Um, and it's viewed from a distance as well, so um, you shouldn't really notice the fact that they're not um, brand new, or sort of what you expect in the, in the 1980s. And then to finish off, um, I then used the rest of the um, Metcalf canopy um, to create the, the canopy for this platform. Um, this could maybe do with a bit more work. Um, it's quite white. Um, if you actually look at the photos, they're, they're quite dark. Um, but given how little you actually see of it, um, I think I'm going to leave it for now. Inside the wall, um, there's this gap, um, which in the, the real thing is some dead ground and now covered in trees, um, which I think sort of back in the day um, was some sort of sidings. Um, and so with the layout being set in sort of late autumn, um, early winter, um, I decided to add some sort of autumnal vegetation to it, um, mixed with some trees that have um, lost their leaves. Um, for the bare trees, um, I started with the um, some of the the green forest trees, um, which I found in that box that I showed you earlier. Um, gave these a, a paint of brown um, before gluing some Woodland Scenics polyfiber to the, um, with a bit of PVA glue um, to try and represent the sort of finer branches um, that you, you see. Um, once dry, I then gave it a spray of brown paint um, and then a, another spray of sort of black paint because it was a little bit too light for me. Um, it's not perfect um, in real life, branches sort of reach out from the center towards the light 
um, rather than sort of pointing in sort of random directions as you've got here. Um, but I'm happy with the end result. Um, I think it, it's better than just having that sort of basic tree shape, I think. And to complement these, um, I've used some woodland scenic foliage um, straight from the box, um, which I also glued to some of the, um, the forest trees that you saw earlier. Um, use some of that synthetic horsehair to represent brambles um, and some woodland scenics dark green clumps um, for some evergreen bushes sort of thing you see like as holly and then to finish the, the back scene um, I bought a photographic um, back scene from ID back scenes um, of Brighton Harbour um, which I think with the, the sort of clear sky is quite a good match for the um, autumnal colours I think I've also finished off the bridge, um, which is a scenic divide between the fiddle yard and the scenic area. Um, to finish it off, I've added another layer of um, brick plasticard along the top um, of the sort of road bed, um, as you can, as is the case in the real thing, um, which I've painted as with all the other walls, um, sort of buff acrylic and then a black wash over the top. Um, and then as a, a finishing touch, um, I've decided to add some street lighting. Um, and while I was ordering that lighting, I also, not, I also noticed you can get um, a car with um, headlights and brake lights, so oh, not brake lights, um, tail lights. Um, so I got that as well. Um, so these are from uh, Layouts for You, um, and I think they look quite good. Um, and then the final thing I've been working on, um, which you might have seen if you um, follow the, the Facebook page, um, is I've added a, a, a frosty scene um, to this bit of red dead ground between effectively the bridge and the, um, the sort of hut on the, uh, the sort of near the, the stabling area. Um, for this, I started um, with a base layer of uh, burnt umber paint um, and then glued on some fine sand with a bit of PVA glue. Um, to that, I then used a, a um, I think it was a Gage Master grass scatter to um, put on some Pico 2 mil green grass um, and then a layer of Pico 4 mil dead grass, um, which is kind of get that sort of deader grass at the top, more green at the bottom that you, you tend to get. Um, to that, I then added some clumps of um, winter grasses from Army Painter, um, some woodland scenics um, autumnal foliage, foliage that I, I showed earlier, um, and then some of that synthetic horse hair again. Um, for uh, for the brambles, um, and then to finish it, um, I then uh, painted um, the tips with a sort of white paint to sort of represent um, frost. Um, and the idea from that came from a, a Cassie Millet video, um, which I'll put in the, the link below, um, which is uh, quite a good video. Sort of shows you how to create similar sort of scenes, um, sort of set in winter, and that was, it was quite a, quite an inspiration for me trying to yeah trying to uh, replicate that. And that's pretty much what I'm up to. Um, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this latest update on Saltspec. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section below and I'll see you all next time.